What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the Fox Chamber. Um, yes, this is going to be a review video, and I've got a product from Oxido, which I hope I'm saying that name correctly. But uh, Bill from Oxido reached out to me and asked me if I wanted to uh, do a review on one of his products. I said, yeah, I wanted, I'll, I'll do a review. And what I chose was these right here, the LED lights. And he couldn't have reached out to me at a better time. My little crappy LED lights that I had on the Fox went out. Well, at least one of them did. And I thought it was the wiring, but then I switched the lights to the other side and the problem moved from the right side to the left side, so I knew it was the lights. I got those cheap lights from um, Amazon, I believe. And these are the lights right here that I had. Yeah, these are the ones right here. Cause I'll show you right now. Yeah, these are the ones that I had. Didn't really work real good. Yeah, well, they worked all right until it didn't. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to do a, um, an unboxing just to show how the packaging is and um, how to install them. You know, because it's pretty cut and dry. If you got a Fox, you're watching this, this channel, you'll understand exactly how to put the headlights and stuff like that in, or at least the, the bulbs and stuff like that. But I'm going to do a tutorial on it, sort of, kind of. I'm just going to show you exactly how, it, how it's done. But first thing we're going to do... The first thing we're going to do is look at the packaging and all and see how uh, how well put together it is. As you can see, yes, it's, it's in a nice box, all wrapped up. But let's get this bad boy open so we can see exactly what's on the inside. Get all this, all this plastic off. All right, now for the unveiling. Oh, check it out. They give you some gloves to put them on with. Yeah, because you know you're not supposed to touch the bulbs because that'll shorten the life of the bulbs with your greasy fingers. So they give you actual, some gloves to put these bad boys on with. I am digging that. So you know these bad boys are not playing around. All right, there's the lights themselves, which I'm gonna try not to <laughs> touch anything. Wow, that looks crazy sturdy. Oh, you know, check it out. That is some, that's some heavy duty construction right there from what I can tell. Man, that's nice. I like that. And of course the other one the same way. Plug and play basically, yeah. Man, that looks nice. Well, let's get these bad boys in. I'm gonna put one side in and then show you the difference between the ones I have in there now and these. So let me get this, uh, let me get this bad boy opened up and get one side in and at least show you how to put this one in. All right, the first side we're gonna do is the right side. We're gonna put the right side in. I'm gonna move to that side of the garage and shine the light on the door so you can see exactly the difference between the brightness of the, uh, basically OEM, the ones I got out of, I think AutoZone or something like that. And then compare that one to the Oxido. And I'm, I hope I'm saying that name correctly. But let's get this bad boy out. And mine, the little clip is broken, so, but you got to push a little clip in, pop that bad boy out. And if yours is like mine, you have this little, uh, this little safety clip or something like that that helps hold the light in itself. Take that out and, and then basically just pop this one straight out. Yeah, this is the one that I had right here. That's the one that's in there. And I think I got it from, I can't remember if it's AutoZone or O'Reilly's, but it's the regular, what is it, uh, 9007 or some crap like that, H1 or something. Can't remember which one it is, but that's the one that I had in there. We're gonna pop the other one in, but first, let's put on our cool looking gloves that Oxido gave us so we don't mess nothing up and put this bad boy together. All right, got my glove on, ready to put the light in. And it goes back in just the same way the other one came out. Pop that puppy right in there. Making sure it's sitting nice and flush. Like so. And you grab your little, little retainer clip. Slide it in. I know y'all can't see none of this, but trust me, it's going on. Make 
make sure I get this thing in there the right way. In there nice and sturdy. I have to find my plug. Pop it in. Ah, I gotta have a light on this thing. But, pop it in. If I can get it with one hand. Boom. There. That is in. Nice and solid. And retainers in there. Simple as that, plug and play. Simple. Just plug and play. Got your white gloves. I, I like these white gloves. So you can definitely hang on to these things, use them for whatever. But anyhow, let's get this car moved over here. Check out how bright these lights are compared to the, um, I guess the H1 or 9007, whatever it is. Let's get this car moved so we can see how bright these lights are. Everything's set up, garage is dark, and um, got the car moved. So you got it put in position over here. Yeah, we're gonna see how, um, how these lights operate. Remember, the one I replaced is on the right. Of course, it's gonna be the brighter one. But all right, let me get these lights off and uh, let's see what we got. Ooh, boy, it's dark in here. Oh, God dog it. Mm -hmm. All right, let's get these lights off because y'all are seeing these for the first time just as I'm seeing them I made sure that we're gonna see these things together at the exact same time. See the garage is pretty dark All right And here we go and remember the ones that was replaced is on the right side And here we go Oh, yeah Definite difference let me see if I can, yeah, definite difference. And I love the angle, it's a little bit tighter too. Yeah. Looking at the two, um, the two beams. Oop, let me get my fog lights off. I think my fog lights are still on too. Let me cut those off. There we go, that's better. But yeah, check out the beams. The beam on the the Auxedo is a lot tighter than the uh, the ones you buy at AutoZone or O'Reilly's. Wow, I like that. See how tight the beam is compared to that's the uh, I cannot remember the H one nine double oh seven whatever. That's that one. That's the one from Oxido. Nice tight beam. And you can hear, you might be able to hear it. It's got a fan in there also. Yeah, you can hear the hum of the fan to keep the light cool. But yes, sir. I like that beam. It's a lot, like I was saying, it's a lot tighter than that one. Oh, let me cut on the bright lights. Let's see how the bright lights look. All right, bright lights. Yeah, bright lights jump up just a little bit. I might have to adjust these a little bit, but you can tell, you can see them a little bit. Bright light jumps up a little bit. Still. Love that beam. Nice. All right. Well, let me go ahead and get this other one changed out. Get that crappy thing out of there. Put the uh, Auxedo one in on the left side as well. And let's compare having both of them in. Got the other light in. Now, if I can stumble through this dark garage again, we'll cut on both lights to see how they look. Now for both lights. 
Oh, <laughs> heck yeah. Dig it, y'all. That's both lights, both LED lights. Yeah, them puppies are bright. And my big thing is how tight the beam is. I love that. But the test is not over with. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna drive this bad boy to work tonight. And on the way home, I'm gonna show you, uh, at least go down a dark road or something like that. And we'll have another look at these bad boys after I get off work tonight. So stay tuned. What, what do you think about these lights, man? Which ones? I just, I just put these in, these headlights. What do, you think, what do you think about these headlights? Uh, they look pretty dim to me. I think you got ripped off. <laughs> man, they are awesome. They put yeah. out a lot of light. Yeah. They are super bright. But they're not bright where they're blinding you. Like if you were behind, so they were behind you, they wouldn't blind you. They look cool. Yeah, they, bro, they look yeah. cool. These bad boys right here, I love the beam focus. Now you see how they, they, they go straight out and it's not blinding the car in front of you if you was behind anybody. But see, watch when I do, watch when I hit the high beams. It lights the fence up like it's supposed to, straight out. And then when you cut them off, the beam comes down. Very nice, tight, focused beam. Hey man, how you doing? What's happening, bro? Yeah, I was going, what kind of lights are these? These, these these are the Oxido. Zito? Oxido. Oh, Oxido? Yeah. Wow, man, them things are cool. I can't believe you could, you were behind me coming up the hill and it's some of the first LED lights that I seen that dip wasn't blasting and blinding you. Yeah. From behind, because even behind you, I could see your, your running lights and your turn signals. Yeah, but, but it wasn't easy. blinding you or nothing. No. Yeah, see, that's man. the good thing about these. Yeah. They don't blind the person that's in front of you. Right. Nice tight beam focus, and that's my main thing with these. Are the beam is the beam focus. Yeah. You know, it's not blinding the person in front of you. All the other LEDs that I've ever had, it just sends out a bright light everywhere, oh, yeah. and people are flashing me, thinking I got my high beams right. on. Yeah. But these right here, totally different. Yeah, because I can see you behind me. I can see when you turn your fog lights on and off. Yeah. And still to see your running lights and your turn signals with LED lights, that was amazing. Good deal. Good deal. They are cool. See these lights. And I, I'm not just blowing smoke, son. These are some good doggone lights. You know, I'm gonna leave a link, if I can find a link, down in the description where you can get these lights at. And I'm gonna wrap this video up in just a little bit, so y'all stay tuned. You know, hopefully you'll be able to see me. But these lights from Oxido. I hope I've been saying this name right. Oxido. I'm going to put the spelling of it right down there on the screen because it's going to be on the face or it's going to be on the uh, thumbnail anyway. But yeah, I'm so glad Bill from Oxido reached out to me and asked me about his products. He has very good products. You know, I, I, I'm raving about this product. You know, these, these, these lights are not like any other LED headlights these have a better focus beam and the person in front of you as you saw my homie from work there's it's not blinding you you know it's not blinding the guy in front of you it's um it's, it's a nice low beam like it's supposed to be in the high beam as you see in it as it hit the fence the beam is straight out you know i just got to do a little bit of adjusting i think the light on my car goes more toward the right i gotta adjust them more towards the center but yeah I love these lights. So um, I'm, I'm hopefully I can find a link to put it down at the in the bottom of the description or whatever so you can come check these bad boys out. But I will put his uh, Instagram and all that good stuff on the on the uh, screen so you can see it and so you can go check this stuff out. Love the product. Love it. Love it. Love it. So anyway, until the next one, peace out. <laughs>